Hi and welcome back to the next session in the CD3 Automation Toolkit series. In the previous video, we had an introduction to what CD3 Automation Toolkit is. We saw who should use this toolkit. We saw a few competitive advantages and learned how to feed the data in Excel. In this video, we'll see a few general prerequisites to clone the repo, build the image, run the container, log into it to execute a few commands, We'll also see a few prerequisites that's specific to the usage of Toolkit. Let's get started. Let's start with the steps in the GitHub repo. The first section is an introduction to CD3 Automation Toolkit. This has been covered in the previous video. Please have a look at it if you haven't done so. I'm going to be skipping this part and go right into the prerequisites. In order to continue, please make sure to download Git in your local system. You should also have any Docker CLI compatible platform such as Docker or Rancher. Make sure to have at least a read-only access to one of the OCI tenancy. So make sure to suffice all these requirements before you continue with the next step. In today's video, I'm going to be using a Mac operating system. I also have Git installed and I'm going to be using Rancher to execute my Docker CLI. So let's go through the steps to clone the repo. First thing is to open your terminal and change the directory to the one where you want to download the git repo. And then you have to execute git clone command. Once that's done, your repo will be replicated to your local directory. Let's follow these steps. I'm creating a new folder and I'm going to name this as cd3 toolkit. So let me open my terminal and go to this directory, desktop cd3 toolkit. Once we do this, we need to execute the git clone command. Let me copy that. This is the command. There you go. My repository is getting cloned to my local. That's done. Let's look at the files in this repository. I have the CD3 Automation Toolkit folder. Let's change directory to that. And there you go. I have all the files present. Next step is to build an image. To do this, you need to change the directory to CD3 Automation Toolkit, which we have already done. Post that, we need to execute the docker build command. So it says docker build hyphen T, which is a tag. CD3 Automation Toolkit is the name of my image. And I'm going to give some specific tag to it, like maybe version 5.3 beta or something, which is more understandable to me. Hyphen F indicates a file, which is a Docker file. Hyphen hyphen pull, it says to pull the latest or the newest version of the image always. And hyphen hyphen no cache means not to include the cache when you're building the image. And dot, this is important. This is a context. All the local directories will be sent to the docker daemon to build the image. Let me copy this. It says docker build hyphen t cd3 automation toolkit. That's the name uh, for my image. And I'm going to give some image tag. So I'm going to call this as version 5.3 beta. And then hyphen f docker file pull no cache dot. Now this dot is very important. So the next step to do is to save the image. This is an optional step. I don't want to save the image. So I'm going to continue with the next step. That's to run the docker container and exec into it. Let's look at this command in a bit more detail. We have docker run hyphen it, which stands for interactive terminal hyphen d in detached mode, which means that even if you um, exit from the container, your container is not going to get stopped. Hyphen V, which is a volume binding. This basically helps to map a local directory in your machine to the container. It will act as a shared directory. So this is a directory where your Terraform files will be generated and any file you place in this directory will be visible inside the container as well. Now, in case your container gets terminated or you have to upgrade to a different version of the uh, Docker container, this becomes very helpful because it will save your data 
and you're not going to lose any of your files. This is the directory which will be mapped inside the container. You can find all your files in CD3 user tenancies folder. You give the name of the image and the tag. This is what we created in the previous step. After that, you run a docker ps command to see if your container is up and running. Then you can exec into it and you can execute commands inside your container. So let's go ahead and perform these steps. We have docker run hyphen it hyphen d hyphen v. Let me copy that. After that, we need to have a folder in your local system where you want the Terraform files to be generated. I have already created a directory called Oracle, which consists of nothing at the moment. It's an empty directory. So we'll have the files generated here. I'm going to be mapping this directory, right? So let me go to my terminal, copy paste this and go to my user desktop oracle colon. The next path is cd3 user tenancies folder, right? Note the colon, which is a separator between your local directory and the directory, which is inside your container. And then I have the image name, colon, the image tag. So this is the name, colon, the tag, which is version 5.3 underscore beta. That's it. There you go. My container is up and running. This is the ID of my container. Let me go ahead and exec into it. Hyphen IT, my container ID and bash. That's it. We are inside the container. Now the next step to do is to follow the section configuring the Docker container to connect to OCI tenancy in our documentation. This is our documentation. Before we go to configuring the Docker container to connect to OCI tenancy, let's look at the prerequisites that's specific to the toolkit. We'll be looking at the ones for external users. The first one is your tenancy access. Please make sure to have at least a read-only access to your OCI tenancy at the minimum, or please make sure to have appropriate IAM policies in place to create resources as per your requirement. Next one is your input. CD3 Excel sheets act as the input to the toolkit. Sample templates can be found at CD3 Automation Toolkit example folder. There is a detailed video on how to use the CD3 Excel sheet. Please have a look at it for better clarity. Out directory is the directory where your Terraform files will be generated. In the demo, we created an out directory called Oracle, and that is where the files will get generated in the further steps. This is the directory which is getting mapped to your container. We saw the steps how to create the Docker image or the container image. Next one is a platform. Make sure to have any Docker CLI compatible platform to run the toolkit. Okay, so that's it for this video. Please join me for the next one where we will see how to connect this container to OCI tenancy. Thank you.